Okay, so let's take a look at our listing layouts. Um, now, one thing important to understand is that listing layouts apply both to your portfolio section and to your blog posts. All right. So the way things uh, look within the back end is you head on over to the layout area and you select a page template uh, that is called listing. Once you select this page, uh, you simply have the option to choose whether you want to showcase blog posts or galleries. So that's done uh, within the actual listing settings. So at the top here we have the um, the standard options of your listing title, uh, you can change out the title area, the subtitle, stuff like that. Uh, then enable a category switcher if that's required. Then we have a featured listing item. So, but within the actual listing area itself, here you get to choose the type of content you show, whether it's blog posts or galleries. So once you've selected uh, your content, you then get to play around with the layouts. Um, also within this area, uh, you can choose the uh, the category that you want to showcase within this particular section that you are creating. So you can have several listing uh, blocks within a certain page and just categorize that uh, and just categorize them accordingly. So let's say you selected all of your categories, uh, you're good to go. And here you pretty much select the layout that you want to work with. So we've added uh, a few new layouts. Uh, you can see here uh, wide cards, cards number two, cards. Um, We have wide cards, uh, cards number two. This is also a new layout. Uh, then we've added grid number three and grid four. All right, so these are uh, some of the Hey folks, so let's take a look at our listing uh, layouts. Now the listing layouts apply to both your portfolio section or your gallery section and the blog section as well. Okay, uh, the only difference is obviously the type of content you choose to show within the page that you're creating. So in terms of backend, uh, what everything looks like for you is um, if you head on over to the layout section, you select the listing page template click on apply and within this area you first of all I need to decide the type of content you showcase and once again that's either blog posts or galleries and that's done within uh, this uh, third section over here so you unfold the settings and uh, you get to choose whether it's blog post galleries then you choose the categories if that's required or if you want to specify only a certain category from your portfolio or your blog post so you specify your content here and then you have all of these different layouts for uh, to work with and to adjust so each of these layouts have um, also a a different set of settings and options within them so if we take a look at our classic layout which uh, which is what we have selected uh, right now you can see that there are very few options just a number of posts per page uh, show full content uh, show excerpt and then adjust the um, adjust the font settings if we take a look at uh, let's say grid number four we'll scroll down and you can see that we have more options there's the number of posts per page number of columns and the gutter space uh, between your um, your image blocks and then we have options to adjust our fonts and so on uh, also let's take a quick look at wild at wide cards so looking over here uh, this area is also very simple just the number of posts per page show categories and then uh, make certain font adjustments uh, then you can adjust your uh, overlay opacity you can select the overlay color so as you can see depending on uh, the type of layout that you select these options below will change accordingly now once you've adjusted um, all of this uh, in terms of your uh, in
in terms of your content, you can then scroll down and add additional blocks. So if you want to add, uh, let's say, an Instagram feed to the bottom of your page, uh, simply click on Add Block, scroll down, find the Instagram block, select it, and it will then be added. Uh, then what you need to do is simply unfold the settings, adjust all of the content settings over here, uh, upload images, and that's pretty much it. So once everything is finalized, scroll up, go ahead and publish your page. So as mentioned uh, before, this page builder is very easy to work with. It does give you much more flexibility in terms of customizing pages, uh, working with them, and um, yeah, it'll, it'll really help you create a unique website. So um, I hope uh, these videos have been helpful, and I'll see you guys around later.